Hello and welcome to Unix Zenkari. In this video, we will talk about the assignment 3 answer of NPTEL air pollution and control. So, everyone who have not subscribed yet our channel, please subscribe and press all the on the all notifications so that our regularly updated videos will reach to you shortly. So, let's start the video. The first question is according to the Pascal Gitche for the stability classification, the stability class E is. So, the correct answer of question number 1 is option number B slightly stable. Next question is question number 2. Identify the type of plume based on the figure given below. So, the this is a figure given of the question number 2. So, the correct answer of question number 2 is option number A. Looping. Looping. Sorry. So, this is the correct answer. Next question is question number 3. The button 10% of the atmospheric boundary layer is called as. So, the correct answer of question number 3 is option number A. Surface layer. So, please mark. Next question is question number 4. As per CPCB recommendation, the minimum value for chimney stack height adopted for industry except for thermal power plant is. So, the correct answer of question number 4 is option number A, 30 meter. So, please mark. Next question is question number 5. Dash is the number of times monitoring data is obtained and recorded recorder over a specific time interval. So, the correct answer of question number 5 is option number C, monitoring frequency. Next question is question number 6. Cities in which the ambient air concentration have consistently, consistently exceeded the national ambient air quality standard NAAQS for a period of 5 years are called as. So, the correct answer of question number 6 is option number uh, sorry B non attainment cities. So, the, this is the correct answer of question number 6. You can mark your assignment answer. Next question is question number 7. When an air pollution index gives a false alarm, even the concentration of all the pollutants are within the permissible limit except, except for one pollutant. It is called. So, the correct answer of question number 7 is provided on the link which is in description box. You can see here. Answer of question number 7 is uploaded on the link provided in description box. So, you can visit the link from there. Answers are being updated on our, our site before YouTube. This is our site www.unixandkite.in. Visit our site regularly. Answer of question number 7 is uploaded there. We are updating our site before YouTube, so you can visit our site regularly. So, I am leaving the question number 7. Next question is question number 8. If a QI comes out to be 169, what would be the AQI category as per CPCB? So, the correct answer of question number 8 is uh, option, uh, option number B, moderate. So, everyone mark your answer. Next question is question number 9. Classification of air quality models based on the coordinate system is. So, the correct answer of question number 9 is option number C, grid based and trajectory based models. So, mark your answer. Next question is question number 10. Air quality modeling in urban regions using an optimal resolution approach. A U R O R A. Model is based on. So, the correct answer of question number 10 is option number A, box model. So, everyone mark your answer. These are the correct answer. Question number 7. Uh, I have left the question number 7. And the answer of question number 7 is provided in the link which is in description box. You can see from the here. The answer of question number 7 is uploaded in the link which is in description box. So, must visit from there. I have uh, left this question. So, thank you for watching the video. Thank you.